Hello and welcome to HMS Tech Talks. Today we're going to talk about industrial network connectivity and how you can get connected to different networks. And to talk about that today, we have Samuel Alexandson, Business Line Director at Anybus Embedded. Welcome, Samuel. Thank you very much. Uh, so, yeah, you're in charge of these guys, the uh, Anybus Embedded modules. You plug in into uh, to industrial machines and get them connected to any network. Correct. Yeah, yeah. You, you know that, of course. I don't need to tell you what to do. <laughs> but anyway, good to have you here, Samuel. Good to be here. I thought we'd start by talking a little bit about uh, network connectivity in general, and, mm -hmm. and um, because there are many different networks out there, uh, depending on where you are in the world and what kind of business line you're in. Um, what are the biggest networks, and why is this such a scattered picture? Yes, so every year HMS analyzed the industrial communication market. So we typically divide it into field buses, wireless, and Ethernet-based industrial communication. And it is a scattered market. Mm -hmm. We see uh, si significant growth for the industrial Ethernet-based communication. Field buses are declining a bit, but they still play an important role uh, due to their robustness for special applications. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we zoom into the top three, we have the fir in first place we have the Profinet and Ethernet IP, followed by Ethicat that has grown significantly significantly over the last years. But as you mentioned here, there are lots of other networks to keep in consideration for device builders. And, yeah. uh, and the reason for this, the background of course, is that these networks originally come from different manufacturers like Siemens for the profi world and so on. Exactly, so that's where it started mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we believe that it will continue this way. Yeah, that's right. There's no real consolidation in sight. Mm -hmm. Not as we see it right now. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so. So, of course, this poses a bit of a problem to machine builders out there, because if you want to ship your machine to Japan or if you want to ship it to, to Germany, you need to cater for all these different uh, networks. So, so how, do you, how do you cater for getting connected? How should you think? I think there are different strategies that you can take depending on the needs that you have. So we, we typically divide it into, I would say, three different ways you can go. Mm -hmm. You can build your own uh, solution. You can build your solution on a chip or you can use a ready-made solution. So it, it depends on the needs that you have, the mm. complexity of the product, the time to market, and so on. So you need to take these considerations into your approach. Right. Yeah, so, so let's look closer at, at these. Now, if we start by, by if you want to build your own solution from scratch. Uh, how do you go about that, and what, what are the pros and cons? So if you want to build your own solution, that, that is good if you want complete control of your solution. But it's, it also comes with a lot of work. Uh, networking your products often come with a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do, you need to build the hardware yourself, you need to assemble the hardware, design the hardware, you need to build the software using stacks, you need to get the expertise of the connectivity of the different industrial networks and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and this of course takes time and resources so, so that you could spend on your core instead, but you need to focus on the industrial communication right. by, by doing it yourself. So. Yeah. If you have high volume, uh, this is a good solution, I would say. And if you want to just use one network, right? because if you do it yourself and you want to add another network, you need to do the procedure all over again. All over again. So you really need network expertise in-house then to, to do it, of course. Yes. Right. Um, OK, so, so the, the next solution then is if you use a, a, a chip, uh, that, that gets you a little bit further along the way, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, with a chip, you typically get the network processor and you get software so that you can connect your device to the network. Mm -hmm. uh, but you still have to build the hardware, you need the expertise, and also the challenge here is that you need to maintain your product once you have released it. Right. And uh, the standardization organizations typically update uh, or, and improve the network specifications mm -hmm. one or twice, once or twice per year. Okay. So expertise is important there. Right. Um, so, OK, so a chip solution gets you a little bit further along the way. And then you also have kind of ready-made uh, pl plug-in modules, which we're, we're seeing here. At the yes, yeah. uh, exactly. And I think the ready-made solution is uh, what you get there is uh, quick time to market and the opportunity to focus on your core. So the, this comes with the ready-made uh, hardware, software, connectors, 
and we of course have the expertise here so that you don't you can rest assured that we will maintain the your products as well right okay so um so of course you you still need to do some development on on your product because it's uh, you need to um, make sure that these fit into the project to the product and you need to to both hardware and software wise make them enable but it it really helps you along the way uh, to get connected to, to different networks and and also once you have the the solution in place you can just switch to another module right yeah i think that that is one of the main benefits here that uh, many of our customers and device makers they want to connect to more than one network it right. could be that you want to expand globally or you want to venture into a new vertical and with the readymade solution you uh, basically you you uh, swap the solution and download the new software right. if you do it yourself it's another story. Then you have to re do the process all over again. Right. So, so if you do decide to go for one of these ready-made solutions, what is it that you need to do as a device manufacturer? What do you have to, to do with, the, with your product to, to enable the, this multi-network connectivity? Yeah, so typically uh, you select your strategy. You, you maybe you pick uh, the ready-made solution. Then you collect the needs so that you know what uh, requirements and so on that mm -hmm. are needed. Then you start uh, hardware design. Um, then after that, you want to build a software that is reliable. You want uh, bug-free, and uh, as more and more devices are connected, you might want cybersecurity as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what you typically do then is product verification, so make sure that the hardware and the software works as intended. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, you aim for network uh, certification. Um, mm -hmm. So what you typically do is to take it to your product to an official test lab uh, where we hopefully pass the conformance test and then you get the certificate that uh, your product is uh, aligned with the network specification. Okay. And these are pre-certified, right, with, with all the major organizations? Yeah, exactly. So, so that is a, a big benefit for us. Right, so it really it shortens the time to market if you don't have to go through that process by yourself. Exactly, and uh, also if the standard organizations, they constantly improve their network specifications. Mm -hmm. So this is something you have to do over and over again, typically once or twice per year. Right. So yeah, it's quite complex if you, if you do decide to do it your own. Um, so what happens if, if I want uh, connectivity to, to a new network that, that's coming up or, or uh, another network that I haven't thought about uh, uh, before? Uh, what happens then? Yeah, that's, I think that's uh, often a very underestimated uh, question that you ask many times too late. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good to take into consideration before you start your uh, in-design journey. Um, so if you have uh, built your solution your, your, on your own, then you have to do it all over again. Right. So you have to do the hardware, the software, the tests and so on. With a ready-made solution, it's basically plug and play. You just change, you take this one and you change the industrial communication. Mm -hmm. And you download the software and off you go. Right. Indeed. With our help, of course. Then. Yeah. And, and that's also something that, that you do get with, with the ready-made solution. You do get the assistance uh, from start to, to, uh, to finish uh, from uh, certified network experts as well. Yeah, exactly. So we have done this before. And mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, that's, of course, a recommendation to talk to experts who have done this mm -hmm. before so that you... Uh, there are some blockers on the way we have, uh, uh, that we have passed before, so mm -hmm. we, we know how to do this. So it's right. Right. Um, and of course, that, that's uh, all about the embedded solutions. Then there's also gateway solutions, of course, if you want to, to uh, have an external uh, communication module. But, um, but today we're talking a bit more about the embedded part. Exactly. Um, so, as you mentioned, we've done this before, and I think we have uh, over 9 million uh, Anybus modules in, in different uh, machines around the world. Um, so, we've done this before. What advice would you give, uh, from having seen this many times, uh, to machine builders or device manufacturers that are thinking about uh, implementing network con connectivity in their products? Uh, good question, and I think it's important to consider the whole product lifecycle. Uh, what you want is a product that will last for a very long time. And uh, the communication interface is often uh, one of the most complex part of the, okay. the device. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have a good plan and the resources and uh, take, it, take into consideration what, what could go wrong, basically. Mm -hmm. right. um, 
So I, I would suggest to really consider the whole uh, product lifecycle from start of design until uh, end of life, basically, because mm -hmm. uh, we, li we live in a pretty traditional business, but there is also a lot happening with new technologies evolving, such as TSN, we have uh, cybersecurity, OPC UA and SP and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's important to um, think about that, Al although you might need it, not need it now, it might be something that you may need in the future. Exactly. The target might be moving a bit and we'll be there to help you exactly. right. focus on the right part. Samuel, thanks very much for giving these tips into how to connect uh, industrial devices to networks. Thank you. If you want to know more about our uh, solutions for network connectivity, visit our website anybus.com or our corporate website hmsnetworks.com. Thanks very much for listening. Thank <laughs> you.